In this video, we'll do a little experiment. We'll have three little data tasks, and we want to see whether you can solve them by just relying on the answers of large language models, AI-powered large language models like Google Bard or ChatGPT. And we'll also look at how, how to Google uh, for data and how what you need to do to get to the right places. So the first question we're going to ask is this one. Which countries have the highest and lowest youth unemployment rates before the pandemic started in 2017? So perhaps what we're going to do is we're going to ask first um, Google Bart. OK, so I asked that question. Generating the answer always takes perhaps a minute, so I'll cut this out. So what we get here is the highest youth unemployment rate in 2017 was Albania, 31.5%. The lowest Germany 5.8. Nothing that sounds unreasonable about this. So let's actually go to Google and ask that same question. Now, if you ask Google that question, let me just copy the question across and ask it. You get a link, the top link is a link to OECD data. Now, have to be careful, OECD data doesn't include all countries, it's just industrialized countries, basically. So that is not the right source to answer the question which was being asked, uh, because I didn't restrict the question to OECD data. So if you don't know that fact, you're in trouble here. So there's another source, the global economy, youth unemployment by country around the world. So I have that link open here already. So here's a table and, and check the data source, the World Bank. You always have to be aware where the data are coming from. We may want to change the year to 2017 and then the order. It's ordered here now according to highest to lowest. And we see the highest youth unemployment rate was in Djibouti, 74%. What did Bart tell us? Albania, 31.5%. So where's Albania? Let's scroll a little bit down. So Albania comes down here, okay, down here at the bottom of the table. So Albania, 31 and a half, so it's approximately right. But Google Bard forgot about all range of other countries here which have high unemployment rates. And you will see the same at the bottom. You will find Germany is fairly low, but there are countries with lower youth unemployment rates, at least to the World Bank statistics used here. So let's see uh, whether ChatGPT gives us different results. So same question here to ChatGPT. Here's the answer. And it tells us South Africa, 50% has the highest and Greece, 40% has the highest. Now let's quickly check out South Africa. Can we find South Africa here? Yeah, South Africa is here, 42.8. So that's pretty high. It's not 50, although I have to say I found another source as well where it, it did have South Africa around 50. Um, but there are other countries here as well. And on the low side, it also finds Germany and Japan as Google Bard, but we've seen there also, or you can see, there's at least to the World Bank table, there are a number of countries here which have lower youth unemployment rate. You may just question methodologies here to get these data, but you see here Germany comes here with six, almost seven percent, not, uh, not, what was it, five point, uh, which was under 10%, okay? And here's at Japan at around 4%. So um, there's also some general statement here from ChatGPT. So I, I think you can already realize you can't just use these large mo language models to give you exactly uh, the right answer. So you could sometimes ask, let me see, have I done that uh, here? So, no, okay. So let's um, ask the next question. Go. Let's ask this sort of question. Show time series plot for the unemployment rate approximately 91 to now for the United Kingdom and France. So let's see what, um, so it's clear, a question like this, you can't ask this to Google, or I can 
I can do it, but you perhaps see Google doesn't understand instructions really like large language models do, like do something for me. Uh, you can't ask Google that sort of stuff, but it gives you some statistics here. And here you get pretty early OECD unemployment rate, not youth unemployment rate. That's what we had before now unemployment rate. And that's really what we want. But, and since France and the, and the UK are members of the OECD, this is potentially a good source here. Uh, you get immediately a plot, which is what we want. Uh, you can actually change here, beginning of the 90s, we get this. And um, so that doesn't, look, that doesn't look too bad. Let me move that down. Here it doesn't show France and the UK, but you can uh, change that here actually. Uh, we can uh, take away Japan and USA and we can add uh, France and the UK. And then we have that here, it's the, the red and the blue series is France and, uh, and UK. And um, yeah, so you get to the source. So now of course you could download, there's a download button, the data into a spreadsheet and then that's what you should really do for an assignment. For instance, if you wanted to plot this, you should create that plot yourself in Excel rather than just taking screenshots from here and make sure you reference the source properly. So let's see what Google Bart tells us. So UK and France unemployment rate, where are we here? So it says, here's a time series plot for the unemployment rate. And then it says, well, something like insert the plot here. <laughs> but of course it doesn't have a plot. Uh, it can't create a plot. Um, so and then, but it gives you some descriptive stats. The plot shows that the unemployment rate in both countries has fluctuated over time. That's right, we saw that on the plot, but has generally trended downwards since the early 90s. Well, let's check that. Here's our plot. Now, has it really trended down? France, okay, it started here above the 10 and now it's below the 10. UK, um, it's not the early 90s, yeah, UK. Um, uh, let's actually go to, uh, okay, UK, it started here at six and now it's below four. And say so if you compare the beginning and the end, that's true. At the end, the unemployment rate's lower than at the beginning of this sample. But in between, would you describe that as a trending series? I think that's a little bit rich. The UK unemployment rate has been lower than the French rate for most of this period. That is a factually correct statement. The blue line has actually always been lower. Okay, uh, it says for most of this period, actually for all of this period. All right, uh, what about ChatGPT? Uh, what has Chat? GPT set so here here's show time series plot same question it says I, I apologize that's quite nice <laughs> nice uh, I can't produce visual plots and it gives us some instructions of what to do that's actually quite nice um, it doesn't leave us hanging there it even gives you some code if you were to use Python and I'm sure you could ask it for some R code um, if you wanted to. So, but really no answer. So the only way how you can get the right answer here is really to find the data source and produce that plot yourself. So let's go back and let's do the last uh, little task. It's perhaps the trickiest task here. So here's a statement. In Sweden, males do just as much care and housework as women do. In the UK, however, women do twice as much as men. So let's go to Bart. Oh, let's, uh, we are here already, ChatGPT, let's do that. I did that task. Okay, so check the following statement. And so now ChatGPT gives you all sorts of, um, all, oh, I should show it. Okay, so here's what ChatGPT uh, Chat says. So let me actually choose myself so we can see everything here. Um, so what does it, what does chat GPT say about uh, useful things? Uh, it, it tells us very true things, okay? It's provided uh, 
may not accurately represent the entire population in the UK. Okay, and that's right. You can never make such a general statement that it's true for everyone because their individual circumstances and choices can vary widely. So it's very true. It's really the answer to the question. So then research has shown that there's a gender disparity in, in both Sweden and the UK. Uh, it's important that the disparity can uh, can vary with such factors as so socioeconomic factors. So that's very right status, education, personal choices. That's all absolutely correct. Um, and so then it's talking about Sweden, but it may be not accurate to claim that males do just as much care and household work as females in every Swedish household. So that's correct. Clearly, ChatGPT has understood the question, knows that it cannot answer the question in the form in which I've answered it, but gives you some sensible discussion around it without really answering the question. And then the same for, uh, for the UK. Uh, down here. So if I asked you this sort of question in assignment, you gave me that answer, you wouldn't be answering the question. So let's uh, go to uh, Google Bart and see what Google Bart says. I think the question is here. So here's check the statement and here's the answer. So what does uh, Google Bart say? Let's see. Um, so it does say S Swedish women spend an average of 3.8 hours on uncaid work compared to 2.6 hours for Swedish men. So that's pretty good. And you could calculate a ratio here. That's about 1.5 times uh, women work 1.5 times what men work. Um, to know it can can vary. So. Um, spent more time okay and some general statements around it and then in the UK it says uh, British women spend an average 4.2 hours per day compared to 2.1 hours per day it's basically double okay so now it gives you data and it also tells you it also tells you here where the data come from OECD in 2020 here also OECD in 2020 so sometimes, remember, if you were to use this data, you will have to give us sources where you get the data from. And just saying OECD said something in 2020 is generally not good enough. OK, we want precise locations of your data. So you can actually ask Google Bart. Um, so here I did that. OK, so what is your data source? Can you give me a URL? And indeed, Google Bart gives us a data source. So let's actually use that and copy. And uh, let's just look where we get to. OK, so since both Sweden and the UK are OECD data, so OECD is a potentially good source. And here you can see there's actually some sort of statistics which look pretty good. Time spent in unpaid work. And we can see Sweden here. And we can also see the UK. Now, what does it tell us here? Sweden is women work 206 minutes. That's around three and a half hours. So what did Google Bart say? Uh, let's go back here. They work 3.8 hours. So it's the right ballpark. And here it says for men, 2.6 hours. So that should be around 100, let's say 160 minutes. And let's see, now we are here. Man, that's the blue dot, 154 minutes. Certainly the right ballpark for Sweden. What about the UK? Now it says 250, 260 minutes for women, much more than in Sweden. Uh, so what's that in terms of hours? So we have 180, 200, that's four. Uh, four and a bit, four and two quarter, four and a quarter hours. So what does it say? 4.2 hours. That's pretty good. And compared to 2.1 hours per day for British men. So it's 130. Clearly altogether there's yeah, 130 minutes. So let's find that out. UK, 
140. So right ballpark. Okay, and we see here that's confidently that that's for two, 2020. So let's see, can we see that? Sorry, here does that come from 2020? Mm, not so obvious. Oh, there's some footnotes, and what can we see here? What can we see here? Sweden, 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 the data come from 2010. And UK, the data come from 2005. Okay, so while Google Bart here has gotten sort of the data pretty pretty right, there's some detail here like the date, the dates of the um, the dates of that information, which is incorrect. Okay, out by 10 and 15 years. So again. These large language models here, even for that sort of quite challenging and tricky question, can be really useful if you use it right to get to the right data, but do not use the output of these large language models as the truth. So I hope this uh, this exercise was certainly quite instructive for me. It was. I hope it was also instructive for you and showed you, demonstrated you a little bit how you can use large language models for this data and they can be pretty good especially if you use it together with Google which can give you perhaps good sources.